In this video, I'll show you how to download and install QBitTorrent on a Windows computer. QBitTorrent works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's a free and open source software for file sharing. So if you're not familiar with torrents, you might want to do a little bit more looking into it. Um, basically, it's file sharing where you can share files from your computer if you choose to, and you can download files from other people's computers that they've chosen to share with you. Now, this is really popular for illegal content. People will download it. Uh, people will download like cracked versions and illegal versions of proprietary software. Also, people will, will share all kinds of files like movies that haven't been released from the theaters and things like that. The reason I use torrenting software is to download large files that otherwise would take me a long time to download. Uh, Linux operating systems or even some open source software. A lot of times there'll be an option to download the torrent version of that. And when you do that, you get the same version you would get when you download from the official website. But instead of downloading it from a single source, you're downloading it from multiple computers all over the world, sometimes hundreds and even thousands of other computers. So they each upload a tiny percent of that file and you can download it much, much more quickly. Also, if your download gets interrupted, um, you can start and stop at any time. And so it's a little bit more convenient that way if you have a little bit of less reliable internet. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to get it downloaded and installed. It's a fairly simple process. So come over to the computer and we'll check it out. So to get started, we need to first download QBitTorrent. So we can just search QBitTorrent. I think I might have too many T's in there. No. And uh, we'll just go to the official website. It's QBitTorrent.org. I'll include the link in the description of this video. And then we'll go to Downloads here. It looks like it brings us right to the, the, the page already, download.php. But it's under Downloads. And we can go to the version we want. So I'm doing it on Windows. So I'm just going to do this download link, this first one, 32 and 64-bit installers, and left click. And that takes us to FOSS Hub where we can then download it and we can choose what we want to do. So I'm going to do this Windows X64 because I have a, a more modern Windows computer. And then I'll click Save File. So it shouldn't take too long to download. That's downloading that right now. And it's going actually quite slow because what, what kind of sparked this video is that I'm downloading Linux Mint right now and it's going to take me the five or six hours for a 500 megabyte or, or I guess for a two gigabyte file. So it's kind of a larger file. But on the Linux Mint website, they have an option to download the torrent. So I could just torrent this, and instead of downloading from one of these mirrors, one of these places directly, I'll be file sharing and downloading it from multiple sources at once, which will be much faster for me. It's also less load on these mirrors. So it's just an all around good thing to do. Uh, so this is going to be done. I'm actually going to cancel this download right now anyway, because I don't really want it. It'll be much faster. It'll probably take me less than 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to download as opposed to five hours. So I'm going to pause till this is done downloading. Okay, it looks like this is just about done downloading. A couple seconds left. It's only 22 megabytes. My internet's just kind of slower right now, which is why it's taking a while. It'll probably be faster than that for you. When it's done, if you're using, what am I using, Chrome, you can just click here. Oh, this is Firefox. Um, on Firefox, you can just click right here. This just brings up my downloads directory and I can find the file, which is right here. This Qubit Torrent x64 setup. You can also find the location you downloaded it to by just navigating directly to your file explorer and then looking in probably your downloads folder or sometimes it might get downloaded to your desktop. So wherever you chose to have it downloaded to. Anyway, I'm just going to left click on this right here and it should just launch a screen saying, do you trust this? Um, go ahead and say yes. If you download it from the official source like we did, Foss Hub is a trusted source and uh, Qubit Torrent's trusted source. So now I'll just click right here, select my English, I'll go OK. It brings up a window here that just walks us through. We'll just click Next. There's Terms and Conditions you can read through and accept if you want to, and click Next. And then there's some options here. I would just leave everything checked exactly how it is. You don't need to create a desktop shortcut if you don't want to, but you could absolutely do that as well. Click Next. This just says where it's going to be installed. If you have multiple hard drives on your computer, you could click Browse and change the location to a different hard drive. But I would leave this uh, how it is if you're not sure. And then everything's done. Go ahead and click Launch. So we'll, uh, hit Finished, and it will launch for the first time. And it's going to come up. And the first time it opens up, it comes up, has a couple different options for us, usually. And it looks like I had this installed once before because it's looking for a version of uh, Raspbian for Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to right-click and go Delete. But this is actually, the, the look right here is where things will appear. So right now, this is a file that I had previously downloaded, and now it's saying it's missing because I deleted it off my computer. But if I had this, I would be able to share it with other people around the world. I'm going to right-click and go to Delete. Uh, and then 
to uh, find. Um, you can't. This isn't really used for finding the the software. You have to go to a web page like this one right here, this Linux Mint, and we have to actually click on this torrent right here, and then that will bring up a dialog that says, "What do you want to open this with?" We can say Qubit Torrent is what we should say. It should come up by default if it's already installed, and just hit open. Alternatively, we could save that. But so right now, this is going to bring up a dialog that says, uh, "Where is this going to go?" It's going to go to my downloads directory. Everything looks fine here. It shows me the size of this, 1.94 gig. I'll hit OK, and now that starts downloading. So right now it's downloading. Um, this, it, it, like I said, it's the exact same file I would get from the linuxmint.org. It's just shared by other people. We see there's 175 other people that have the same file. Um, oh no, there, there's 175 people that are wanting to download this file, and there's 102 people, 112 now, 115 that are sharing it. And of those, I have, I'm have i connecting, connecting to 62 of them. So I'm downloading this from them. I already have 1% of the file just about. Um, and it's going to take me about 36 minutes to download total. Here's how much I'm downloading. But I'm also uploading a little bit. So I'm downloading like a megabyte. But I'm uploading 5 kilobytes. You know, This number will go up as I get more of the file. So I'm file sharing right now. I'm downloading some of this and uploading it, which is important to know. Some people, they'll use uh, torrent software to share illegal files, and they don't realize that they are uh, uploading. They're participating in the sharing of the file. So when you download something with torrent software, you're also sharing it. You can change the settings so that you don't share, so that you only download and don't upload. Um, but I'm not going to show you do that right now. Uh, maybe we'll get into using more of this, some of the more advanced things like we can learn about over here about what's happening and different trackers and the status of our different downloads. But for now, I'm just going to end this video. You have Qubit Torrent installed and um, check out some other videos learning more how to use it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.